Over 47 years ago, Neil Armstrong took one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. He was followed by 11 other astronauts who left their footprints on the lunar soil. Decades later, no human being has traveled past low Earth orbit. Are we destined to remain tethered to our homeworld, or is the time finally right for humanity to move into the final frontier? This is the future of space travel from 2017 to 2050. Current advancements in spaceflight center around lowering the cost of space travel by reusing first stage rocket components. In March 2017, SpaceX successfully reflew an orbital class booster, an accomplishment that will pave the way for a future manned mission to Mars. By 2050, humans will likely have set foot on the red planet. SpaceX plans to send its first robotic probes to Mars in 2020, with a manned voyage scheduled for 2026. NASA's timeline is more conservative, with a robotic payload planned for the late 2020s and a manned mission targeted for the early 2030s. Both the CNSA and Verkosmos are also pushing for manned missions in the 2040s. Manned lunar expeditions are also likely to occur well before 2050. SpaceX has announced that it will fly two private citizens around the moon in 2018. NASA is also studying a crewed lunar mission to orbit the celestial body in 2021. This would be followed by further missions that could potentially be the first step in constructing the Deep Space Gateway, an international cis-lunar space station. The CNSA has proposed to land on the surface of the moon from 2025 to 2030. The ESA, JAXA, and Verkosmos are also studying similar expeditions that will take place around the year 2025. While manned missions tend to receive the most publicity, most of humanity's knowledge about foreign worlds comes from robotic exploration in the form of orbiters, rovers, and landers. Orbiters have been used to study numerous celestial bodies, including the Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Except for the Sun and Saturn, landers have entered the atmospheres of the previous extraterrestrial objects as well. Rovers have only visited Mars and the Moon, but all three types of robotic spacecraft are likely to visit other worlds by 2050. NASA has proposed a mid-2020s mission to explore the surface of Europa, an icy moon of Jupiter that could harbor Earth-like life in its subsurface oceans. The agency is also studying a 2021 mission to visit Saturn's sixth largest moon, Enceladus, another body with an internal ocean. Although exploration of the solar system is likely to expand through the middle of the century, the study of interstellar bodies is another interesting possibility. 
As of today, the farthest man-made object is Voyager 1, which, after 40 years of travel, is approximately 19 light hours from Earth in interstellar space. It would still require several millennia to reach the nearest star system in its path. The Breakthrough Starshot Initiative aims to solve this problem by launching miniaturized probes at relativistic speeds towards Proxima Centauri. There are no major deal breakers with the proposal, and the project counts physicist Stephen Hawking among its advisors. This would be done by firing a group of lasers at the craft, which would employ solar sails to accelerate. While the engineering hurdles are large, a launch before 2050 is certainly feasible, with the probes reaching Proxima Centauri after 20 years. Both robotic and manned exploration of deep space are set to advance in the coming decades. After a 40-year hiatus in manned voyages beyond low Earth orbit, private companies and governmental agencies are ready to push into the final frontier once again. Robotic journeys once restricted to nearby planets will expand to include potentially life-harboring moons and perhaps even interstellar worlds. In 2050, humanity will look back on its recent past to see a species that has opened its eyes, stretched its legs, and leaped beyond the horizon. For more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below if you have any suggestions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see everyone in the next video.